Hey everybody, it's Jesus from Purdue University Northwest. Uh, and today with me is Professor McHale. He's hey. behind. All right, so today we're going to be talking about mechatronics. What is mechatronics, what it's used for, or how it's used for in the industry. Professor McHale, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Maggie McHale. I'm an assistant professor at uh, Purdue University Northwest, uh, mechatronics engineering and technology. I'm uh, teaching here um, most of uh, or majority of mechatronics uh, classes at uh, Purdue Northwest, and I joined the Purdue Northwest uh, University uh, 2015, uh, and I uh, I like to work here and especially in this environment. Wow, Professor, that's actually great to hear, and we're actually glad to have you here at Purdue Northwest. Uh, so tell us, what is mechatronics? So as we know, uh, mechatronics is uh, is a buzzword right now. Uh, you can hear it and uh, see in the media a lot of people talking about mechatronics. So actually, mechatronics is a it's a word uh, driven by two words, which is uh, uh, mecha, which is mechanical uh, electronics. Uh, which is uh, the, the, the field or the program that used to uh, how to write a program, how to control uh, machines, and how to write software for equipment. So this is a mechatronics and uh, originally driven by uh, Japanese uh, since 1969. And came to U.S. and uh, we have mechatronics program that uh, first... Uh, accredited uh, program in the whole nation. Wow, Professor, that's really interesting. Uh, so tell me, what interested you about mechatronics? So the interesting uh, thing about mechatronics, uh, as we know that mechatronics, it's a hybrid between mechanical, uh, electrical, uh, engineering technology. So the interesting thing here, uh, most of the product are customized means it's depend on the customer need. It's not pure mechanical or pure electrical. Okay. So, so as you, everything in around our, uh, our life, it's type of uh, mechatronics system. Look Washing machines, robotics, production line. So all this type of uh, machines or system, it's uh, integrated of electrical and mechanical. This is why uh, mechatronics is interested field, and this is a way of the future. So to add on to that, what is your favorite part of mechatronics? My favorite part in mechatronics is uh, teaching uh, robotics. And as we know, the robotics is uh, uh, the future and the growth of uh, uh, manufacturing in U.S. Robotics start to invade our life in different fields. We can see robotics in uh, our houses, like cleaning the, the carpets. We can see robots in industry, uh, automotive uh, production lines. And also you can see robots in academia and you can see robot in uh, medical field uh, to assist the doctors in, and uh, uh, nurses in hospitals. So this is what I see that uh, robotics has uh, strong potential in our life in the future. And this is what I teach at Purdue Northwest Mechatronics, uh, mainly of the courses uh, related to robotics and the control as well. Wow, Professor, it's pretty clear that you do have a great passion for teaching mechatronics. So tell me, what do they have to offer pertaining to Mechatronics. Uh, as I uh, I said, the uh, mechatronics program at uh, College of Technology, Purdue University Northwest, is was uh, the first program in the whole nation, and established 2008, and almost for uh, 12 years. And uh, however, uh, Purdue Northwest uh, uh, did a great job to enhance and pushing forward this, this program. And as you can see in, uh, in this room, uh, we have a lot of equipment from industry, which is state of the art. So this is kind of uh, uh, advanced lab 
developed and uh, created by uh, Purdue University. So the university here supporting this program in multiple ways. Uh, number one, they uh, supported the program with uh, faculty and the staff. They are capable to provide for uh, teaching students, helping students. Uh, also, university equipped this program with uh, many uh, softwares and uh, simulations to help students to uh, be ready, go outside, capable to do the, the work. And also, the university supporting the program in multiple ways, uh, like it's based more support for the student after the graduate, providing uh, logistic, logistic support, taking the student to, to industry visit, like uh, IMTS, which is a big show for industry and the back expo, and the established com connection between the student and the program as, as whole with industry. Adding robotics program and robotics field, which is very expensive, but university put effort to accommodate all courses taught in this program with uh, very advanced lab and uh, very uh, cutting edge technology to support the lab and the student. Professor McHale, so what type of students would be interested in the Mechatronics program? Students that are interested in uh, hands-on skills, uh, also good in kind math and science, solving a problem and the critical thinking. Uh, also, uh, mechatronics uh, enforce and encourages students that to work in the team to solve the problem, find the solution to any problem related to production line or industry. Professor McHale, so for anyone that's interested in the Mechatronics program, what advice do you have for them? So uh, if any student interested in mechanical or electrical engineering technology, definitely Mechatronics will, will help a student to understand quite bit from mechanical side, electrical side, and programming and control. A student uh, for, with mechatronics engineering technology, they are capable to uh, work in different jobs uh, like control, uh, system engineering, uh, production line, and uh, software and the system uh, as engineers as well. The salary for mechatronics is very high, competitive to another programs, and I encourage students to uh, come visit us, look to our labs, or take a tour and in, in our uh, facilities, and look what, uh, what we are doing. All right, so there you have it. So if you have interest in mechanical, electrical, or a combination of the two, uh, this could definitely be something you might be interested in. So go ahead, check us out, check out the webpage, and check us out on social media platforms. All right, y'all take care. Bye.